We can use the R commander GUI to fit logistic regression models. And to fit this type of model, we will load in some data which is looking at arthritis patients and how they respond to a treatment compared to no treatment, a placebo. So this data set is saved externally as a CSV file. So we use the data menu to import data from text file. We'll call the data set arthritis.df data frame, indicate that it's comma separated variable, and click OK. So then we then need to select the CSV file. And we can see here that it's been loaded with 82 rows and 30 columns. So we'll quickly view the data just to see what it looks like. We can close that down. So there's treatment, so treatment or placebo, the gender, age, an outcome, which is zero is no change, one is a slight improvement, two is a lot of improvement. So we'll convert that variable to a binary variable called improved, which is one or zero. So if it's a zero outcome, it hasn't improved. If it's an outcome of one or two, it has been an improvement. So what we might want to do to start off with is to plot our data. So we'll have the outcome on the y-axis, so it's either naught or one. So the plot might look slightly unusual compared to a scatter plot, as we don't have anything in between the naught and one. And then maybe put the treatment on the x-axis or more informatively we might consider to see how the outcome depends on age. So if we go to the graphs xy conditioning plot menu on the x-axis we'll have age, we'll have outcome or rather improved because that's only got two levels and it's based on simplifying the outcome variable and we want to group it by the treatment. So if we just click on OK here we can see this graph which shows a sort of general pattern of the placebo group not particularly helping out the older patients. But then there's a lot of successful treatments of the younger people in the trial. So what we haven't done here is considered, for example, gender. So what we could have done in the conditioning plot is we could have put gender in, treatment as um, in fact we could uh, put that in to create a 2 by 2 array of plots so we've got age against improved click OK we'll quickly see here that there's some sort of patterns in the placebo where it doesn't seem to be any sort of obvious improvement with age for females in fact it doesn't seem to help male patients at all and it's sort of less clear with age with the actual treatment group. So what we can do is we can fit a simple logistic regression model to this data. So we'll go to statistics, fit models, the generalized linear model, as it's a type of generalized linear model. So our response variable is whether or not there's an improvement. Let's say we want to look at that with age. So we're saying that the data is binary, so the binomial, and we're using the logic link function. So OK fits the model and we see that increasing age leads to an increase in the likelihood of there being a successful treatment. So what we then could possibly do would be to make that model more extensive. So let's say we add in a treatment variable. Do OK. Now we see that there also seems to be a difference due to the treatments. In fact, if we scroll up, we'll see that there is, isn't much of a change with the age effect when we add on the treatment effect. So what we might want to look at is whether, again, if gender is important. So we'll go into our model, generalized linear model, and add gender in. Click OK. We see that of those three effects, the treatment seems to have the most important influence. So let's say we wanted to then consider some interactions between those. So we could add an age by treatment interaction using the colon, also an age by gender interaction, and lastly a treatment by gender interaction. So those are the three two-way interactions that we consider. So if we go to that model, we find that we've made things too complicated. So we could just test using the model hypothesis test compare two models. So we compare model three and four 
and we can see that well that's not a significant improvement when making the model more complicated so we could go through one by one and say remove the age by treatment term from our model see whether that has any improvement again it seems like these interactions aren't important so then we go down and remove the treatment by gender from our model okay and we see here that the age by gender doesn't seem to be important so if we test model 3 against model 6 if we compare two models we can get a formal test between those and we see that there's only slight evidence that we get a better model by adding in the age by gender interaction so for simplicity we could exclude it <laughs>